Welcome back to yet more coverage from Computex 2012. I'm here with Pau Color, with Andre. And Andre, probably hey. about a month ago, you guys made a lot of noise about a very special card. We wrote about it, our readers thought it was pretty fantastic. And you've got it right down there, the Devil yeah. 13. Very exclusive card. It's a Tahiti 2 uh, GPU. The first single uh, Tahiti 2 on the card is not the 79th. 90 but either a 79 70 times 2 x2 so it's going to be a uh, first in the market uh, probably aimed at august time frame okay so just to go back a second there tahiti 2 some yeah. people might think that's a respin of tahiti this one is tahiti which is 79 70 yeah two of those cards what frequencies um, it will have a base clock uh, as a reference, uh, 925, but then you have this special button that you can press and it overclocks. We still don't find the right frequency because we are waiting for the GPUs from AMD. Uh, and once we have, we will test and we'll come up with the final clock, uh, which, which will probably go over 1000 megahertz. Okay, we saw the 690 come out from NVIDIA, um, very, very quietly actually. Um, this one's a huge, huge card. Now, is it yes. deliberately made to be this big, just to show off that it's an enthusiast card? It's not and just to show off, it's to have quality and stability on the card to provide the, the performance we want. As you know, the thermals and all the frequency, uh, also the 6 gigabytes you need room to fit everything. The components, the power components, the thermal uh, cooling need space. Mm. And for space, you need to have quality um, and it gets bigger. Right, and also just looking on this side, if we can show the camera, it's got three eight pin connectors. So yeah. it's, it's designed for lots and lots of power. It's designed for the ultimate overclocker and ultimate enthusiastic. Uh, it's going to be a really uh, exclusive and very few are going to be on the market and uh, whoever gets the opportunity of getting one is going to be extremely lucky as you can see not only the box the box alone is very expensive one and just look at it okay so that's the box we're not interested in the box even though it's very very nice and um, with this you're saying it's not a 7990 so this must be a complete custom design yeah you've got a base pcb here so just looking at it, um, obviously the two GPUs, a bridge chip, loads and loads of cooling. Pump, yeah. um, so this has been designed purely by you guys, yeah. without too much help from AMD. You know, I can tell you, we've been designing this card for a long time. Since February, we are on the designing, on the R&D department. We are coming up with this design because we would expect AMD would come up with a 7990. Uh, but we wanted something special, something really that made the gamers blow their mind off. So we came up with this, this, uh, this card, special uh, power supplies, everything. And uh, we are giving up the final touches and it's going to be ready. Okay, if, you, if you put that down and we'll just sidle over to here, yeah. you've actually got one that's working. Yep, we do. Okay. As you can see. It's working. Um, it's a little bit noisy right now because it's not the final card. But as soon as uh, we have the, the board ready, uh, we probably update the fans to a bigger size and quieter. And that's going to be uh, a little bit uh, cooler and quieter. You say it's going to be probably around August time frame. We're yeah. at the start of June at the moment. You've obviously got something working here. Can you talk about why it will take a couple of three months maybe to get it to market? Uh, first we have to come uh, tweak the, 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 the bias because I've, we have some issues. We're still trying to solve the AMD themselves have some issues as well. So we are trying to figure out with them and uh, we don't know how dependent we are on them to, to solve it. Sure. Last two questions. Will this become the world's fastest graphics card? That means any graphics card, dual GPU or not, and how much will it cost? Up to the moment, yes, it will be the fastest uh, graphic cards because it's a full uh, clock Tahiti XT and we'll have this special bias that will just fly, make this baby fly. And uh, I'm pretty confident that this will be the one. And how much? Over 1K, 1K. 
one k yeah. andre thanks very much no so that's the devil 13 apparently it's going to be the fastest graphics card in the world when it launches in august we'll find out in due course